today's video, we are going to be doing our most requested video, which is our jet black. Now, our jet black and dark brown consist of two step process. So, Allie here would love to do our jet black process. So, we will do that. We will do pure henna first, as stated in the instructions, and then we will do our indigo powder and we'll see how our results come out. I'm excited to see your color. So, I have this lovely green here, so she doesn't want to take them out yet, so we will foil them away and we will show the process. So let's get started. Hey guys, so my natural hair color is light brown and it has previously been dyed with a permanent black chemical dye. So as you can see here, there is a pretty harsh contrast from the outgrowth of my natural hair to the black permanent dye which can look a little rough. For this henna mixture, we used brewed coffee to help deepen the color, and we also added a few drops of rosemary essential oil for hair growth. You can also use brewed tea for deepened color. So I decided to keep the teal front pieces of my hair, so we just simply foiled those away from the henna so that they didn't get colored. If you are wanting to add more red tones, you can use beet juice, hibiscus tea, or rosehip tea as your liquid base instead of brewed coffee or brewed tea or water. You can also add some sugar or lemon juice to make a more subtle and vibrant end result. If your goal is to help cover grays, they can be kind of stubborn since they are coarse hairs that no longer produce color. So when you are trying to get the color to attach, it can take a few applications to get the grays to really take to the henna. But to help with that, we always recommend to add half to one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar or two to three teaspoons for longer and thicker hair. Rinse your hair with cold water starting from the tips and washing downwards. While chemically ridden hair dye damages your hair and infiltrates toxins into your scalp, henna is actually healthy for you. Not only does it color your hair, but it also naturally strengthens, protects, and conditions it. So this is day two. Yesterday we did pure henna application because Allie wants to do jet black. Today we'll be doing indigo powder. But since she rinsed this out, so you can see right here the pure henna, how it's showing up. Now you can see right here towards the bottom where she has darker color hair, where she had her hair dyed darker. You previously did have it black, right? Mm -hmm. So, and then afterwards, what color did you do? Um, I just let it grow out with my natural color on top. Okay. So, what color you had before? Um, it was my natural color. Your before. natural, okay. So you can see right here, the pure henna is more prominent here. And I mean, you could still see it. I'm not sure if you can see it too much in the video. So the bottom is a little dark, but right here, beautiful, beautiful pure henna, natural red color, I would consider this. So we did leave out her strands here. So you can, I don't know if you can see, but very slightly where we did not apply the pure henna, where her um, brown hair is, and you can tell the difference here. So we're gonna go ahead and apply the indigo powder and we will see the results that will come out dark. I'm excited for that. Okay, so we did mix this for 15 to 20 minutes. Now you can see that beautiful purple hue right here. Again, 15, 20 minutes. Now if you want to see exact how we mix it, the link is down below. We do have a video to how to mix your pure henna and indigo powder. All of the ingredients are completely plant-based with zero chemicals. Now we know the two-step process can be lengthy and we understand that sometimes people don't have that time to really do the two-step process. So there is a way to reduce it down to one step. However, shortening the process to one step will lessen the vibrance and color coverage of the dye's finished result. So for one step, you would simply use one part henna to three parts indigo, 
and your liquid base of your choice. And if the color does turn out less vibrant or not as dark as you're wanting because you have reduced it to one step, you would just simply do another application and it should even those tones out. Again, rinse your hair with cold water starting from the tips and rinsing downwards. So I was very happy with the results. I was really pleased to see that that harsh contrast from my natural hair color to that chemical dye from outgrowth was completely covered and evened out beautifully. Here at the Henna Guys, we pride ourselves on using pure plant-based, naturally grown, and chemical-free henna. We are pleased to say that you'll find no toxins, no GMOs, or any other harmful substances in our hair dyes. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching!